Nananawagan po ako ngayon sa Elf Cosmetics dyan sa Philippines na please do not pull out your products there. So all the people in the Philippines could get to experience how amazing this brand is. Kasi marami talagang magandang products from Elf and they're not gonna break the back. They're very inexpensive and they're beautiful. And you're gonna see on the video right now in 3, 2, 1. Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Yes, as promised, I am going to do my full face using Elf Cosmetics. So if you want to see this tutorial and if you want to know my thoughts about each product that I have in here from Elf, then keep on watching. Let's start with primer. I have three in here. The first one I have is the Elf Hydrating Face Primer. And hindi ko to binili. Binigay to ni Lulu sa akin before. And I love using this, especially on days sa sobrang dry ng skin ko. Sa pangalan palang hydrating siya. So this is a hydrating primer. That means bagay lang to pag dry skin ka or normal skin. If you have combo skin, mm, siguro just focus on areas. Kung meron ka nito and feeling mo hindi nagu work sa yo, focus on areas na may dry patches ka. Dun mo lang siya ilagay. If you have oily skin naman, Please stay away from this primer because all your makeup will just melt off your face kung ito yung gagamitin mo. I have two new primers here. This is the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate with Purified Water, Shea Butter, and Vitamin E. And this is how it looks like. Ito yung bago nila. Nakita ko tong feature ni Kathleen Lights. This is how the packaging looks like. Pareho talaga siya ng packaging dito sa e.l.f. Moisturizing Stick Foundation nila. This primer naman is the Mineral Infused Face Primer. Ang nakalagay dito clear lang. This multi-purpose primer preps your skin and fills in lines. So makeup goes on evenly for a long-lasting matte finish. Wait, matte finish. Hmm, matte pala to, hindi ko alam. I'm gonna use it here lang sa cheek area ko. And this one, I will use it sa areas na meron ako mga dry patches. So ito muna, ilalagay ko lang siya dito sa mga may mga lines ako. And pores. Meron siyang nagawa actually na blurring effect sa mga pores ko and fine lines. Pero hindi naman OA na nawala sila lahat. It's still there, it's still visible, but meron lang blurring effect. Next, I'm gonna use this ELF Prep and Hydrate Balm. Meron siyang stopper dito, and then ganyan siya. Um, so this is a clear cooling balm, helps hydrate and prep skin for makeup application. I like how it feels on my skin. It's very, very magaan. And meron siyang konting cooling effect. Maybe this will work better if ilalagay ko to sa wrist. Moving on to foundation, I have two in here, and you guys know this is one of my favorites. Kasi na compare ko na to or na half and half ko na siya sa Hourglass foundation. And you guys, this is as amazing as the Hourglass one, and this is only six dollars. Etong foundation na to, feeling ko hindi ko siya masusuo today, or maybe I will wear it on areas na kailangan kong mag highlight. Kasi sobrang puti nito for sure. Kasi sa box palang nakasabi kasi dito guys natural, pero merong nakalagay pa after natural na previously porcelain. Porcelain skin is porcelain skin, like NC10 or NC15. So yes, ang puti nito, oh my god. It has this creamy texture na in between mousse and liquid. Nagbe-blend in naman pala yung color si skin ko. Isasali ko na lang yung neck para magkapareho sila. There. I like the finish of this foundation on my skin. I don't know why. Sobrang gaan niya, guys. As in, pero yung coverage niya, ha, sobrang light lang. So I think this is maybe buildable to medium coverage, but this foundation won't give you full coverage. I really love the feeling of this foundation, or maybe because I've prepped my skin really well. If you want an everyday base na hindi mabigat sa feeling, this foundation is really nice. Because I love this so much, I'm gonna go to Target later and buy a new one. Yung shade na bagay talaga sa akin. I think I will get the sand na shade. Kasi pag Filipino na skin tone. I think yun yung bagay sa color natin. Now, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. moisturizing stick. Um, ilalagay ko lang siya sa areas na kailangan ko ng more coverage. For concealer, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. HD lifting concealer and this is in the shade Fair. This is how the concealer looks like. Parang it's a mini version sa NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And yung packaging lang magkaiba. This one feels a little plasticky compared sa NARS. In fairness sa e.l.f. ha, walang chemical scent yung foundation and yung concealer nila. So I'm gonna put this on my right eye. I think this is the perfect shade for me. I really like how it blended so easily on my under eyes. Walang tagging feeling and walang namumuumuo na concealer. I really like it. Ang problema lang na nakita ko nito, if you have panda eyes, like, hmm, as in, hindi niya maka-cover talaga kasi light coverage lang siya. Maybe medium, yes, papush ng medium, but kulang lang talaga siya sa coverage. I know I said elf only, but I will use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Ilalagay ko lang dito ng konti, guys. I just really want to cancel out the darkness there kasi hindi talaga siya naka ng e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. Now to set my under eye concealer, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder and nakalagay dito yung shade niya Sheer. So, 
Sobrang liit ng packaging niya para siyang loose na eyeshadow. It did set my under eye pretty nicely. It reminds me of the RCMA No Color Powder. Mm, but there's nothing really like extra extra special about this. It's nice to have this in your collection, but I won't tell you to go out and buy this. Parang ganun. I'm gonna do my brows now. This is the e.l.f. Brow Pencil in Neutral Brown. I'm not sure about the other shades, guys, but this shade is really perfect for my hair. And as you can see, sobrang ganda niya. It has a bit of a waxy feeling. Hindi talaga siya yung sobrang pencil na pencil. This is my third pencil, and that is saying a lot. I really like this, and it's very inexpensive. Two dollars, and hindi masakit sa bangs if you keep repurchasing it over and over and over and over again before I do my face makeup I'm gonna do my eye makeup first and I have two palettes in here this one is the Needed Nude palette and nakita niyo na to before na feature ko this one uh, sorry for the term again this one sucks big time sabi nila maganda daw yung Mad for Mats na palette nung pagbili ko kasi sa website wala na yung elf na Mad for Matte 2 yung mga oranges na color oranges yung marami mga peach and orange colors and alam niyo naman yun yung mga gusto ko na color I'm just really showing you this palette para masabi ko sa yun na wag mong bilhin to again this is the Needed Nude Palette. This doesn't have any pigment at all. Um, this one naman is the Elf Prism Eyeshadow. I've been hearing amazing things. Sabi nila sobrang ganda daw talaga ng eyeshadow palette na to. And this is very inexpensive. This is only $10. I'm gonna swatch it. Whoa! Medyo na shock ako ng konti kasi isang ganun ko lang ganyan na yung pigment niya. And I'm gonna swatch. Ay, ang ganda! In fairness, this color... Ay, 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 I love it! Just by swatching this Prism Eyeshadow from e.l.f., I like it already. Meron akong binili na isang eyeshadow from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Molten Liquid Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Rose Gold. I'm gonna swatch it right now. This is the shade Rose Gold. It's more of a pink champagne color for me. Hindi talaga siya Rose Gold na Rose Gold. But it's okay, it still looks pigmented, and it looks pretty. Wala akong pan transition shade so kukuha na lang ako dito sa Kathleen Lights ko na Morphe palette. Hindi na ako magpa-primer kasi nalagyan ko na siya ng concealer and that's enough already. I'm just going to get this parang orange peachy shade. I'm going to get this shade yung parang sabi ni Jacqueline Hill puke na color daw. I don't know which shadow to get. Um, okay, I'm going to use this bronze color yung dark. I'm going to put it all over my lid. The good thing about this eyeshadow is that you can use it without using any MAC Fix Plus or any setting spray. But I'm still gonna use my setting spray. I wet ko lang yung brush ko kasi ganun talaga pag mga satin eyeshadow nagiging mas intense sila pag ni pag wini wet mo yung brush. I'm gonna use this shade. Di papatong ko lang gusto ko maging lighter siya ng konte kasi medyo dark siya. I'm so tempted to use this. Hmm hmm hmm. I think this will look better if siya lang mag-isa sa lid mo and hindi mo siya ipapatong sa ibang eyeshadow. I'm just gonna add false lashes off camera and I'll be right back. I'm gonna add this color right here, yung yellow na shade. And then i-add ko lang siya dito sa inner corner. I'm really happy of how my eye makeup turned out today. Everything that I've used like so far, I really like. I bought this powder. This is the Beautifully Bare Sheer Tint Finishing Powder and this is in the shade Fair or Light. Iba din siya sa mga e.l.f. products ko dito kasi most of their packaging comes in a black packaging. This is really nice and new to e.l.f. And this is how the powder looks like. Ooh, ooh. This powder feels really, 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 dami ng really, 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 really smooth as in. Ilalagay ko siya dito guys ha, sa under eyes ko kasi medyo nabitin ako sa pang set ng under eyes kanina. Now I'm gonna get a powder brush and then I'll just set my face with this one. I don't know if na notice you guys, pero yun yung gusto ko sa powder, yung medyo sheer and nagsi set lang talaga siya ng mukha ko. Ayoko yung powder na powder foundation yung naga add ng coverage. I don't know why, but I just find it a natural on me. Sa akin lang naman yun, kasi depende din sa preference niyo talaga. This is the contour palette from e.l.f. and I really like this palette so much and I call it Brontour kasi this is from Bronzer and this is from Contour pero hindi ko siya ginagamit na isa-isa lang. Ginagamit ko siya together so I mix these two colors because this brown is ma-warm. So pang bronzer siya, this one is cool tone na brown which is good for contouring and for chiseling your cheeks. Pero ang ginagawa ko, binimix ko sila kaya tinatawag ko silang bronzer. 
Para sa akin, this is like the right pigmentation for bronzer and contour kasi hindi ka mapapasobra talaga. I'm gonna swatch it right now para makita nyo. So there, ganyan siya. This one is like a yellowy shade pero meron na siyang sheen ng konti. Pero I've tried setting my under eyes using this one and okay naman siya. This one, of course, if you're darker than me, then ito mas maganda to pang set ng under eyes mo. That's the color right there on my face na may nix ko tong dalawang shade. I bought this new Beautifully Bare Natural Glow Face Palette. And this is in the shade Fresh and Flawless. I'm not sure kung merong ibang shade nito. Similar siya ng packaging dun sa powder, which is silver. And this is how it looks like. It's really pretty. If you are super white, like NC20, NC15, this could pass as a bronzer. But I like the shades of these two blushes. But when you look at it sa pan, parang similar silang tingnan. This one is like a subtle highlighter, but this shade won't show up on my face, that's for sure. So, feeling ko sa palette na to, ito yung hindi ko magagamit. But these three I can use. I also bought this blush palette in light. I'm gonna show it to you right now. So this is their blush palette in light. These two are really, really nice for summer, especially if medyo naging tan ka na. These two are your typical pink blushes. Ito mas lighter and ito mas darker, obviously. I'm gonna use these two first. Imi-mix ko lang yung dalawa. Oh. Minix ko lang yung dalawang color and sobrang ganda niya sa cheeks talaga. It's gonna give you that perfect peachy colored blush. These two palettes are beautiful but if you ask me, Mimi, which one should I get? If you want to mix and match like colors sa blushes mo or you want to customize your own color, then I can recommend this one kasi may peach ka na, may coral ka na, may dalawang pinks, light and dark. But this color right here, yung dalawang blushes, peachy tone siya. So peach color lang talaga yung lalabas nito. Walang pink nito. Um, meron pala akong binili na isang blush. This is the blush in Mel Hello Mauve. I'm not gonna use it today, but I'm gonna swatch it for you right now. This is your perfect mauve color and meron siyang konting sheen. This is very smooth. Whoa! Sobrang ganda ng color na to, you guys. It's not a matte blush kasi meron siyang konting sheen, but there's no glitters. This shade is perfect. Alam niyo naman, ito yung mga favorite ko na shade, yung mixture of peach and pink. I'm gonna put it on my face. Tama na ang pabablush, but this blush, I'm so surprised. Again, this is in the shade Mellow Mauve. This is the Beautifully Bare Liquid Highlighter with Vitamin E. Illuminating. So this is the liquid highlighter. It looks really pretty, but it's oily. So meron siyang maraming oil. I'm not gonna put this on my face kasi naka-powder na ako. Baka kasi mag-patchy siya. Kasi dapat yung mga ganitong mga highlighter, dapat ilagay mo siya before putting on a powder. I'm gonna show you this highlighter. This one naman, wala akong masabi na bad. The Illuminating Pad from e.l.f. You guys know how much I love this. And nakikita naman, sobrang powdery na niya. Because when my skin feels extra, extra dry, I just get like a fluffy brush. I dust this all over my face and voila! Meron ng glow yung mukha ko. So, Sobrang ganda nito guys, but if you are someone who likes like wabam intense highlighter, this is not the highlighter for you. I'm gonna get this shade lang and then ipapatong ko lang ng konte. I bought three lipsticks. Itong dalawa, it's their matte lip color and this is in the shade Tea Rose and yung isa is nearly nude. I also bought their velvet matte lipstick in blushing brown. It doesn't have a weird scent. I'm gonna swatch it right now. This is like a perfect brown color. Yung feeling niya pag swatch, it's so creamy and velvety. I love it so much. And then I'm gonna swatch these two. This is going to be my first time to try like lip products from e.l.f. Okay, so this is nearly nude. I heard na change na yung formula sa matte lipsticks nila kasi before daw may tugging feeling and hindi daw lumalabas yung color. Yun yung sabi ng ibang beauty vloggers. Ngayon sa pag-swatch ko wala naman akong tugging na feel and nakita niyo naman yun, 'di ba, na parang lumabas agad yung shade. Etong pangalawang shade um, is called Tea Rose. Ganyan siya. I'm going to use the shade Nearly Nude. It says it's a matte lipstick but it's creamy. This is really too nude for me, but it goes well with my eye look naman. Pero I'm gonna add like this color, yung dark brown. I think the color is perfect now and I think I'm done with this tutorial. And let me just fix my hair and I'll be right back. 
So I'm done with the video guys. I hope nagustuhan niyo to and I hope nakatulong to sa inyo on which ones to get from Elf. Lahat ng mga ginamit ko sa mukha ko guys, I can highly highly recommend. I love all of them except for these two right here. The Elf HD concealer, okay naman siya. Yung blendability, yung consistency, yung formula sobrang amazing. Sobrang dali niyang i-blend. Ang problema lang yung coverage. This will only give you light coverage. Yes, maybe pa-push sa medium coverage pero sobrang konti lang talaga yung coverage nito. Nasasayangan lang talaga ako sa concealer nito kasi maganda yung formula niya. Yun, yung coverage ng talaga yung kulang. Ito naman, yung pang-set ng under eyes. I mean, I have to play around with this one kasi kanina, hindi ko talaga nakita na miraculously nag-glow yung under eyes ko. It's nice, yes, pero I cannot really wholeheartedly recommend it to you. Kasi if meron ka naman mga pang-set na powder sa under eyes mo, you don't need this one anymore. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you guys! Bye! Mm.